All right, here we are with Greg Bulver at CB Fisk. My first time here. Yeah. After all of our conversations. Yeah. And the reason we're here is you have an upcoming open house this weekend. That's right, on Saturday, the, the uh, whatever date that is, the 13th. 13th, yep. Uh, at 2 o'clock, from 2 to 6, actually, in the afternoon. And um, everybody's welcome to come by. We're showing our Opus 137, which will be for a church in Andover, Massachusetts. The first organ we've built this close to home in many years. We build all over the world. And uh, we've got one in, actually two in a row in Massachusetts. Andover, which we're showing on Saturday. And then the one following that <clears throat> will be at Harvard University. And that's the model that we're looking at now. This is Memorial Church in Harvard Yard in Cambridge. And these models are works of art in, 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 of their own right. Do you, you keep all the models after, they, uh, after the thing goes? We do. All the models are done at the same scale, which is three quarters of an inch to the foot, or one to 16. So the first thing we do when we get a job, when we sign the contract, is that we build a model of the building. We go and we take lots of photographs, we take lots of measurements, and we build these models in scale <clears throat> because we design the organs with these models. Mm. So for instance, this is Harvard, and we've got just a you could take that out sketch. so people can get an idea. Yeah. So we start out with an empty room like this. Yep. This is the rear gallery at Harvard Memorial Church. So then we just start sketching with phone core and get an idea of the shape. And one of the great things about building all the models to the same scale is that we can take other models, other organs from other churches or other concert halls put them in this model, uh -huh. and you find out right away what's not going to work. Ah, uh, yeah. So then the sketches get developed a little more and a little more. There's another iteration. A little more detail. A little more detail. You have the, 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 the Harvard symbol up at, up at the top exactly. there. Yep. yep. And then finally, as we go along, <coughs> this isn't going to quite fit. Okay. We get the whole thing designed and ready to go in. Nice. So I've taken that out because we're at the stage now where the model is done. And so I've taken it out and I'm measuring it with calipers and then scaling it up in the computer to full size. So we draw the whole thing full size in the computer, and then I can make my shop drawings from those drawings, and the drawings go out to the shop, and the parts get made, and the elves go to work. Eight months later, lo and behold, we have another open house. Yeah. So we can eight, look eight, at the eight months is about the time. Well, for a big one like Harvard, it'll be that long. We're we're uh, delivering Harvard uh, the fourth of June mm -hmm. next summer. So in any given time, generally, how many are in the, in the process of being worked on from design to, to finish? Right. So uh, right now, we're just about to dedicate one in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, that organ is complete and has been adjusted to the acoustics of the building in place. Uh, a lot of the work happens on the site afterwards. You said about 20% of the work yeah. is... Yeah. So, that organ was 15,000 uh, person hours, so about 3,000 hours have been spent by various teams in Charlotte. How many employees does CB Fisk uh, have? Right now we have 26 full-time employees. And, and, and the part of the teams, are, are they work, they considered employees, or are they uh, people that are kind of like subbed out work? No, everybody's an employee. Everybody's an employee. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So a team that goes out to Charlotte, how many, pe how many people are in that team? Well, initially when we deliver the organ, uh, we would send from four to six people along with it. It uh, goes in trucks from uh, Hilt's Moving and Storage next door. They've been moving organs for us for 35 years. Wow. And um, they take it where it's going to go. Um, we even hire them to pack it if it goes overseas. It goes in sea containers, of course, and goes by ship. But we hire Hilt's to to pack it because they're so good. You have to have some pretty good faith in them. I mean, yeah, for these pieces. <laughs> so yeah, that's a big endorsement for Hilt's yeah, right hundreds there. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of organ parts get shipped around. And we've 
had almost no damage over the years. They're they're very good. That's a great endorsement right there. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. So you want to go into and take a look at some of the manufacturing processes? Yeah, I do, and I'd like to show you the model for Andover as well. Sure. Let's go.